What's up, y'all, and welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, salut tout le monde and bienvenue sur ma chaîne. Maintenant. What's up, y'all, and welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I'm gonna show you how I go from orange, brassy, yellow hair to this nice ashy color. Um, so let's go ahead and not blab and just jump right into the video. So if you watched my previous video, you've seen that I already bleached my hair with the L'Oreal Smart Bond and um, basically processed the entire hair and it turned out to be a really yellow color, which is a no for me. It works for some people, but for me, it's just, you know, like I need that, I need that cool, ashy, beigey blonde. I washed my hair, conditioned it with the Smart Bond Step 2, left it in for about 10 to 15 minutes in the shower, put about four to five pumps because I'm super heavy handed and I don't do it often. Let it soak, let it sit, and I just towel dried my hair with a microfiber towel. Now let's go ahead and see what this color is looking like because it's really yellow. This is the color I got and as you guys can see, the roots are super white and orangey yellowy and then my ends are like a toned blonde color. That's because when I process my hair, I only put the bleach on my new growth because there's no point of processing my blonde hair twice when it's already blonde because that extra damage is just a no. So before I tone my hair, I like to put two products in my hair. My Shea Moisture Jamaican Black Castor Oil Mask. I really, 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 really love this mask. I highly recommend it. I love it for my curly blonde hair because it just restores all the moisture back into my hair and it's nice and thick and super, 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 super. I like it because it's nice and thick. So I'm gonna go ahead and just put that onto my hair. Now basically while my hair is sitting in the deep conditioner, I actually am going to combine the Wella T18 with the Wella T11. Now these two toners, the T18 is the lightest ash blonde which gives you like a gray color and then the Wella T11 gives you like a beige blonde so more of a warmer blonde. Both of these were found at Sally's and when you go to Sally's it could be kind of confusing because they basically show you the hair tone on perfectly white hair and it's obviously going to come out different if your hair was previously blonde or brown or black. But I'll go ahead and put in my own personal color chart on what I consider to be a Wella T18 which is a lightest ash blonde and a Wella T11 which is a lightest beige blonde. And before I get started on this, I am not a professional, so this is a disclaimer. This is not recommended for you guys to bleach your hair and to tone your hair and to come out just like mine. This is just the way that works for me and which has been beneficial for the last few years that I've been doing it all alone. Now, mixing the toner is super easy. All you do is, for every one toner, you mix two parts of developer. So the toner is 1.4 ounces, so you would mix two 0.8 ounces of developer. So first I'm going to add my Wella T18 toner and mix that in and then I'm going to add my Wella T11 toner and then with these two together I'm going to add a tin developer. This developer is by Redken and I've used quite a few developers and I personally love this Redken um, brand of developer because I feel like it gives my hair little to no damage and it actually leaves my hair more soft. Now you can measure out your ratio if you want to, but I kind of just eyeball it because I've been doing it for so long. So after you mix them together, you're gonna wanna mix the consistency so that it blends together. It's gonna be like a jelly consistency and it'll be really clumpy. And that's how you know it's ready. So now I'm going to go ahead and apply it to my hair. Now, you don't necessarily, I was really indecisive at the at Sally's, so I decided to mix both the T11 and the T18 together. I typically don't do that, so this will be my first time doing it. And plus, a lot of people were asking for a toning video, and I personally thought um, it would kind of be pointless to tone my hair with the T18, being that I've already did a video like that. So we're gonna experiment and see what this is gonna be looking like. And the main reason I decided to go with 
a mixture is because I feel like my purple shampoo can basically give me an ashy tone gray um, without using a toner and without it being damaging. So I thought of mixing the color just to kind of see what kind of blonde I get, being that I already get that ashy color when I just wash my hair with purple shampoo. So get the baby hair, y'all. Baby hair. Say no to brassy baby hairs. Okay, so now that it's all thoroughly saturated into my roots, I'm gonna make sure that it's really even. So I like to take some gloves and just kind of go all the way around just to make sure that it's evenly coated. Once again, I try not to get too much on my ends because I like to avoid processing my nicely colored, um, already blonde, bleached area as least as possible. I typically leave it anywhere in between 20 to 30, 15, anywhere from like 15 to 25 minutes, depending on how gray or how beige I want it to be. I'll go ahead and let it sit for 15 minutes and get back to y'all. What's up y'all, I'm back and it's been about 15, maybe 20 minutes, honestly, I didn't check the time. Um, let me see. Yeah, it's been closer to about 20 minutes. Um, you can see that it got really purple. But because I am getting into the shower now, what I like to do is put on my gloves. I like to rub it in one last time. Make sure I split it in certain areas so that if I braid my hair or part my hair any type of way, it's evenly coated. And then because I'm about to wash it out, I actually take any excess and just brush it down into my roots. Just because leaving it in my roots for about five minutes will give it just enough time to tone without damaging any of my hair you can see it toned up really nice it's gonna be so bomb y'all can't wait for you guys to see it okay everything's all mixed in and ready to wash so i'm about to get in the shower and now these are the results of my toned hair. Typically, I only use a Wella T18 and I get more of an ashy color. But I wanted to try something new for once just because I've been doing the Wella T18 for so long. So that's why you can kind of see like I have really ashy colors and I have more beigey colors, which I like. And using both of them kind of balanced out. And if I do want a really, 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 really great color, I can just wash my hair with my purple shampoo and it'll make me completely gray. So if you guys do want to see... That's what happens when you live in the ghetto, y'all. No, I'm just kidding. I don't live in the ghetto no more. I don't live in the ghetto no more, y'all. Well, kind of. <clears throat> Is it over? Can you guys still hear that? Can you guys even hear that because of my mic? Oh, okay. So if you guys are interested in seeing what I wash my hair with and what purple shampoo I use, go ahead and drop that down below and that will be one of my next upcoming videos. Thank you guys so much for watching my channel. If you guys have any questions, you guys can go ahead and write them down below or in my blog post. Thank you guys so much for watching my video and I will see you on my next upload. Bisous!